Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking uh, about uploading lesson plans and giving a very, very quick rundown of how to do it. Here I am at the Schoology um, login page. After you log in, you'll be brought to uh, your feed. And what you'll do is you'll go over to groups. You'll click on groups and you'll have your uh, groups that you have access to. I have my Meavers crew and my fourth grade team. So you will click on your Meavers crew and that will bring you to your Meavers page, which I talked about in the previous video uh, about uh, where all the resources are. Speaking of the resources, that's exactly where we're gonna go to. On the left-hand side here, on the very bottom, you'll have your updates, discussions, albums, members, and resources. You go ahead and click on resources. And from there, it's gonna uh, lead you to a wealth of information here. Uh, if you haven't already looked through this, I would strongly suggest looking through this. It's a, a lot of great information. At the very top, you'll see lesson plans. You'll click on that. Then it'll open up to another folder of weeks. Uh, and essentially the week of whatever lesson plan that you've written is where you're gonna upload. For example, this upcoming week is February 3rd. So I'll click on that one. Then it's gonna open up a folder for all the grade levels and you will click on your specific grade level. I am in grade four, so I will click on that one. And I can see that already two people in my team have uploaded their lesson plans. Good job to you two people. I have not yet, so I am uh, not one of those people I'm saying good job to. Uh, then you will click add resources up at the very top here. When you click that, there's gonna be a drop down of a bunch of information here. And what you're going to focus on is you're simply going to focus on adding files. When you add files, this is going to come up uh, where you can attach your files and you can click on an objective that you want to align it to. Don't worry on clicking. Don't worry about clicking the objective. Just click attach file. That's going to open up your files to your lesson plans. Here's everything that I've downloaded because it's in my download folder. What you will do is you will click on wherever your lesson plans are stored. Mine are going to be in my fourth grade math and science for the year 2019 to 2020. And then if I click on math or science, in here it will, you will see my lesson plans. What I have saved on my laptop is just my lesson plans from 113 to 117. To upload that, you simply click on it, then click open. It's going to come up with your file details here and then you simply click add. From there, it's going to have your um, name, math lesson plans, whatever you've named your, full, your file, and it'll be up in here. If you wanted to do this with a photo, you could do that with a photo. All you do is take a picture of your planner, what your lesson plans are, and you can upload it that way. If you uh, write everything down, uh, you can scan it in with a PDF document file. It's, it's completely up to you. Uh, you can see Miller actually has hers as a PDF. Phillips is a Word document and mine is usually a Word document since I have a template and I just edit and change that. Um, you're more than welcome to go into the fourth grade lesson plans and look at my template. You're, you're more than welcome to download my lesson plans and copy my template if you want to use it. If you're not sure what template to use, I've been using this one. Seems to be okay. I've gotten some decent feedback from it. Um, but other than that, that's the quick and dirty rundown of how to upload your lesson plans. See y'all later.